She was posted on the Facebook page and there was a call that um, a lot of times they'll put a post up that says like they're looking for a foster and that um, you know they suspect that she's pregnant and it was a couple days that it was up and like there were multiple posts about will someone take her please take her and there was a video of her like trying to get comfortable in a kennel and I was like okay we can do this. So originally when we agreed to take Nellie I thought that we could use our master closet. Um, we have, it's a very large space, it's upstairs, and when we got her, we realized that she would not walk upstairs, that she was kind of petrified of the stairs, um, which she got over as um, she got more comfortable. So the first kind of like, ah, what are we gonna do is that I had a plan for her to be in the closet and then she wouldn't go upstairs. So um, we ended up using the garage, which is actually really, really nice. We have a, a cast iron stove the night they were born. It was it was during the Chiefs game, not the final championship game, but like one of the games leading up to the championship game where like they're behind and then it goes into overtime and we have a TV out in the garage. So we've got the fireplace going, the TV's on, every one of my kids and all of their best friends are out there. And so we're cheering for the Chiefs and we're watching Nellie. We're all sitting in a circle and she's just having puppies doing great. So definitely that was a night the kids will never forget. We debated about keeping her, but we found a great, she found a great family. My sister actually texted me like the day after Nellie had her puppies. She started off with like four or five puppy pictures. I was like, you guys can get a Mastiff puppy. So that was, that was kind of how we first heard about Nellie and her puppies. So we went to look at the puppies and Catherine here actually was more interested in just hanging out with Nellie than trying to chase around any of the other puppies. That was kind of the, the first point um, that we had, had considered getting Nellie. She had a, a bit of a rough transition phase just because everything she had gone through, I think she had also just gotten spayed like a couple days before we got her too. So like she had just had a bunch of major events in like two months. She definitely, I feel like, enjoyed the quiet when she first got here mm -hmm. too, of just the chaos of all of her puppies to the quiet. I think there was obviously some transition. She was kind of upset about it and whatnot, but she also laid down and just like took a really good nap that first day. <laughs> She just has like zero personal space. She's just a big old 115 pound cuddle bug. Yeah, she likes to curl up and like put her head on your shoulder, which is like a little like weird because it's the size of like a human head. She's just fantastic.